So once you've got all your equipment together, get everything you need together. Say if you're wandering around the room, craft knife, safety ruler. Now I'm going to make one of these runs here. Let me show you again. I'm going to show you how to do this one here. And it curves around a bit and it bends a bit. So this is what I'm going to do again. I'm going to mark it off what I need. So I'm going to measure what I need. Yeah, I'm going to need it that big here. So I've got a mark on my cardboard. And I'm going to cut my card. I'm going to cut the whole strip off. So again, four or five motions with the craft knife fingers inside, as you can see. Then that comes away. So don't need that bit. So I've got a piece of card like this. Now when I'm going to bend it, it bends this way easy, but bending over this way is quite difficult to do. So again, I'm going to score about a centimetre, so I'm going to measure a centimetre, there's my centimetre there, and I'm going to score this time, score this bit, which means you're not going to cut all the way through, so I'm going to score just a couple of lines here, there we are, and again that, that can be bent, but before I bend it, this time I'm going to like cut a frayed edge, and again I'm going to cut these through, so I'm just going to do a few here and show you what they look like. So as I'm cutting through from my line back towards myself, oh, that's a really big tip. Or oh, when you're cutting, always cut towards yourself. Don't cut away from yourself. There's a lot more control when you're using a craft knife and you're cutting towards yourself. Cut towards yourself all the time. That'll do there. That'll do. So I've got this bit now. So what I've done here, I've scored down here and I've cut these through and you can see I can bend them. See, you see that? I can bend these individually. Yeah, so I've cut them through. If they're not cut all the way through, then again, go back in with your, with your craft knife and just make sure they are cut all the way through. Just cut the few all the way through. It's a bit like piano teeth, in all honesty. So you're making them look a bit like piano teeth. That's not a bad analogy. Just a few more here. That will do me. So here, and then you can see I can bend them individually. Can you see that? Now, what I can do, I can, as my card say, I can put that on here. And then, I'll show you this way around, I can start to bend my run, and also, I can bend my teeth. Okay, let me just finish these off and show you the whole thing. There we are, just a couple more. So, I'll show you from this way. Here's the teeth I've bent individually them all out then I can put this on now and I can bend those there we are I can bend those around I can bend that to any shape really I want to now because I've cut them flat if I tip that up now you can see I can glue I can add glue gun onto this part here and glue them onto my board so they sit flat on my board. Again, be careful, hot glue gun, mind your fingers. So that will eventually stand up straight and that will form part of a curve of a run for my marble to travel down. So I could go that way here. That will be glued on underneath. So that will be glued on like this. And I could send the marble down, down the run and it could fall off the end here and maybe onto a gear waiting here for it and that's how you can make a marble guide path there you go have a good look around at that teeth and you can put that anywhere on your board you like